This earth was just beginning, there was much fussing and fighting and sinning. <laughs> then one day a cloud appeared up in the sky, and a great heavenly voice spoke from on high. Oh, good man, Noah, said the voice. The things I see leave me no choice. I must send rain and flood one day to wash the wickedness away. But what few things are good and true, those will be spared to start anew. Now, Noah, you must build an ark. And these dimensions you will mark, 300 cubits for the length. To cut such logs will take some strength, 30 cubits high and 50 wide, the entrance to be on one side. One window and a single door, basement, mezzanine, and main floor. It must be built of gopher wood. Is that point clearly understood? Use pitch to fill each crack or leak. I'll begin the rains in a week. You have seven days to do it, so don't just stand there. Go, man, go. When Noah got the message, what? the message from the sky, what? that there would be a rain what? and the waters would be high, he called his sons together, and this is what he said. Now, Shem and Ham and Japheth, no more sleeping late in bed. You see, I got some special orders. You got to help me build an ark. What's an ark? Some kind of boat, I reckon. Build, 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 build an ark. How you build one? Build, 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 build an ark. What's it for, Pap? Night and day, no time to play. We got to build an ark. How soon? Seven days to make it. We gotta shake it. You gotta help me build an ark. Let's get moving. The boys went in the forest what? to cut some gopher wood. What? A mess of trees were chopped what? in that busy neighborhood. The skies were growing darker and time began to plot. Before they had their lumber pile, three days and nights went by and Noah called out to his children. We got to rush and build that ark. Looks like rain. We're gonna need some shelter. Rush, 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 rush build that ark. Fifty cubits wide. Rush, 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 build that ark. Length three hundred. Night and day, no time to play. We got to rush that ark. I need a vacation. Four more days to do it. Let's hop right to it. You gotta hurry with that ark. <laughs>
made the deadline. And now we've got to name this ark. Let's see, uh, how about Shem's ark? Ham's ark? Japheth's ark? Of course, I think I've got it. Why don't we call it Noah's ark? Oh, yeah. I, I guess, guess we'll call it Noah's ark. That's good. I like it. That's very good. <laughs> That's nice. <sighs> Exhausted from their job well done, it truly was a handsome one. The boys lay down to take a snooze when Noah cried, No time to lose. We've one more duty to perform. This final day before the storm, into the ark we have to bring just two of every living thing. Go north, go south, go west and east. Find two of every bird and beast. Invite each pair to be our guest. Accomplish this, and then we'll rest. The boys went out upon these words among the animals and the birds and promised them admission free, the first boat ride in history. <laughs> And soon a crowd began to pour across the gangplank through the door. This was the season's big affair, and all the finest folks were there. Well, the aardvark came, and the antelope came. The beavers, bears, and the buffalo came to the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. The tigers came, and the elephants too. The ducks and geese and the pelicans flew to the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. Penguins dressed in formal style, flamingos wore their pink. The camels came in camel pile, the mix in natural mink. Then the whooping cranes gave a holler and a whoop, so pleased that they were part of the group on the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. Noah carefully checked each guest on his list to make sure not a single one would be missed. Well, some of those guests were odd-looking critters. The way they were built would give you the jitters. There were duck-billed platypus half and halves, silly hyenas with <laughs> sillier laughs, earthbound emus, hopscotch and kangaroos, and the great galloping canoes came in twos. Well, the chimps and monks and gorillas walked in to say hello and how you been on the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. The ostrich pair, they were strutting so proud and how their feathers tickled the crowd on the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. The civet cats were seated near the horrified giraffes. The porcupines made their point clear. They'd stick around for the laugh. Then the lightning flashed and the folks were all thrilled. They knew the ocean soon would be filled for the maiden cruise of the good ship Noah's Ark. The yaks and zebras were last aboard the ark, and just in time, for the sky was getting dark. Then Ham, Shem, and Japheth looked terribly hurt. They hung their heads and kicked their toes in the dirt. But they were all smiles and really delighted to learn they and their wives, too, were invited. And Mrs. Noah, whose task it was to pack a picnic basket, had prepared some simple vittles to fill up their empty middles. The old gal had potato salad, macaroni, bologna, pastrami, salami, baked ham, berry jam, marmalade, lemonade, peach pie. Oh, my. 